Dr. Liberta, last week we talked so much about finding God through disasters, and this week we were mostly spared from the devastation through Hurricane Gustav. How do we keep focus on God and being thankful for what we've gone through? Yeah, I think it's easy when we have the, the grand disaster like a Katrina come through and, um, you know, we, we, we cling to something and it's normally it's, it's, a, it's our prayer life, it's God, and we say, you know, God help me through this. Uh, I think it's very easy for us to become complacent when, when things are going well. Uh, I think what we re really have to do is to reflect upon the fact that uh, the storm did hit, uh, we did suffer minor damage, some of us, and, and we have to always keep uh, and be mindful that God is there, whether it's good or it's ill. Right, and you know, it's, it's hard sometimes for people to focus. You, when things go well, you just move on. Yeah. So what are some ways people can take from this experience, draw from this experience, a greater appreciation for God's work in their lives? Well, I think it's a time for us to just reflect on all the good that God has done. Uh, to be thankful for our families, uh, for all the wonderful uh, things th that we do have, our jobs, sometimes the people that we take for granted, uh, the people that pick up our garbage that came again on Friday and we're all thankful that that happened uh, on a regular basis. Uh, so I think that's the, that's the times that we really have to just be more reflective. And what happens, I think, to a lot of people, especially in our very fast-paced world, is we don't have that time to reflect. Even though the storm didn't create a lot of damage in our area, uh, it still gave us a lot of time to reflect as you're in the hotel room or whatever. And I think that's, that was a blessing, a blessing to just slow down, not to have to go and, and at the fast pace that we, sometimes that we have to go at, you know, going to work, picking up the kids, doing all these various things. And, it, and our lifestyles typically don't, uh, we don't have enough time to really reflect to think about God, to think about all that we really uh, have from Him and, and the fact that we have so much. And that is important, not only in times of disaster or in times of Thanksgiving, but throughout our lives, that importance of, of really reflecting back on our experience and finding God in that experience and preparing for right. more. And I know right now we're all um, reaching out to our neighbors and surrounding dioceses. What are some of the ways, that, what are some of the intentions we can go to God with for our, our neighbors that are maybe suffering more right now? Sure. Well, that, that's the thing, too, is that even though we were spared, uh, we should be very thankful and, and also be looking to our neighbor. And that doesn't mean the person next door necessarily, but the person in the next uh, parish or the next diocese. Uh, we, we need to think about all the aid that came to us after Katrina and realize that now we have a wonderful opportunity, that God's given us this, uh, this opportunity to, to respond in kind. Right, and we will continue to thank God through our prayers and continue to ask Our Lady of Prom Sucker to intercede for us on our behalf. Thank you so much, thank Dr. Liberto.